Hi guys, Daniel here, and today we are going to do a second video on functional equations, and this is the IMO 1992 shortlist. So let's first look at the problem. Find all functions f from positive reals to positive reals, which satisfy f of f of x plus a times f of x equals b times a plus b times x. And uh, they forgot a condition. We have like a and b are both greater than zero. So let's first see what we can do here. Uh, we notice that there's an f of an f of x and there's an f of x and there's also there an, there's an x. And so this kind of tells us that we might want to define a sequence maybe that's defined as x sub n plus 1 equals f of x sub n. And this way we can uh, represent all these things in uh, terms of x to sub something. For example, if we let this be x sub n, then f of x is simply x sub n plus 1. And f of f of x is simply x sub n plus 2. Whoa. n plus 2. Anyways, this makes the equation turn into x sub n plus 2 plus a times x sub n plus 1. And I'll bring this, this thing over on the other side. Minus b times a plus b times, oh god times x sub n equals 0. Sorry for the bad handwriting. But now look what we have. We have uh, uh, basically a linear recurrence relation. And we know how to solve those. We simply take the char characteristic polynomial, which is in this case x squared plus ax minus b times a plus b equals 0 which perhaps conveniently factorizes into x minus b times x plus a plus b. You can check that this is correct. Well, now that we know it factorizes into these roots, we can easily f write the general form of x sub n which is equal to equal to lambda 1 that was an ugly lambda lambda 1 note that lambda is just just like the standard variable we use for solving recurrence relations it can be like i don't know it can be like y and z or it can be a and b well, we we don't want a and b here but it can be like m and n or anything it's just this is just a standard uh, variable. Don't get confused over like why we ha we're using like, Greek letters or something like that. Times b to the power of n. We have this first root here. Uh, plus lambda two. Remember, these are just just constants. Times negative a minus b to the power of n, which is our second root here. Okay. Well, now we have a general form. Now, note that x sub n, this thing is always positive. Remember, our function is from positive reals to positive reals. And also, we know that this thing is positive because b is greater than 0, and this thing is negative. But also, note that negative a minus b is greater than b because a is positive. So as n tends towards infinity, no matter what we make this equal to, or what we make this equal to, this entire term will grow faster than this term. Right? This is just some basic limit properties. So but look at this. This is a negative thing to the power. So sometimes this entire expression is going to be negative. And since we know that this goes faster than the first term, then we know that this entire term sometimes will be negative. But that's a contradiction since x, we know that x sub n is always positive. So what does this tell us? This tells us that this lambda 2 this lambda 2 is actually just 
this lambda 2 is just actually just equal to 0. Because that's the only way we can make this entire thing not grow faster than this thing. So, well, this makes everything a lot simpler because look at this. Since lambda 2 is 0, we just know that x sub n is equal to lambda 1 times b to the power of n. Now let's look at what we're trying to find here. We want to find f of x. And this is this is just equal to x sub 1, right? Because like we recurs we like made the recursion once. And uh, also we know that x sub 0 is equal to x because we made the recursion zero times. But we also know from this solution of the recurrence relation that x sub 0 is equal to lambda 1 times b to the power of 0, which is just lambda 1. But this means that x sub 1 is simply equal to x sub 0 times b to the power of 1, which is just b, which is equal to b times, and remember, x sub 0 is just x, so it's x. But then finally, we know that x sub 1 is just fx. So fx is equal to b times x. And we are done. You may want to check if this solution is correct. And uh, well, let's just try this out. We plug it in x. We plug this in twice. f of f of x is just b squared times x plus a times f of x, that's just a b x, is equal to b times a times x plus b squared x. Yep, this is indeed correct. So we are sure this is our answer. Hey guys, Zong here, back with another uh, video about math. Um, today we're going to be talking about the basics of data sets. And data sets don't really show up in competition math a lot.